Planet Dolan. Why do some of your power cables have lumps? What are the black dots on your car's windshield for? Here are the answers to those questions, and a bunch of other things you see all the time that have incredible uses. I'm Pringle the One, and today, I'll be your narrator. Number 10. If you own a pair of running shoes, there's a pretty good chance you have some loops at the top of your shoes that you're not using for laces. And if you try to use them for laces, you probably found them pretty uncomfortable. That's because there is more than one way to lace your shoes. Most of us simply use the standard crisscross pattern, and that's good enough. But it is possible to lace your shoes to make them still fit right, but give more support to your toes or your instep. The extra holes on your shoes are there to accommodate lacing methods you've probably never even seen before. Number 9. You probably know Silica Gel as the little rectangular packages that tells you not to eat it. It comes in everything from shoes to beef jerky, but do you know why? Silica Gel is effective at absorbing excess moisture, so it frequently gets packaged in with things that need to stay dry over time, and they stay good for a long time. So you can actually save and reuse them, put a packet in with some old books or anything else you need to keep dry, and it will help keep it from building up excess moisture. Number 8. Today, the little pom-pom at the top of your knit cap serves little purpose but to look nice. They became popular in the 1930s as a way to cheaply decorate clothing during the Great Depression. They were easy to assemble and attach and could be made with scrap yarn, so they quickly became popular and fashionable. But these things have been around for hundreds of years. In Napoleon's army, each soldier's hat adorned with a different colored pom-pom to show his rank and company. In some South American cultures, different colored pom-poms are used on traditional garments to show a person's marital status. And in Rome, clergymen would use different colors to signify the order of each member. Number 7. Perhaps the first thing we should cover here is that those little metal buttons all over your jeans, those are called rivets, and they're the reason your jeans don't rip apart more often. Those rivets are fastened at places where stitching of your jeans is under the most stressed, around your pockets and the crouch. The rivets were patented by Levi Strauss in the 1800s and have been a mainstay in jeans ever since. Number 6. If you look at the back of a man's button-down shirt, there's a fair chance you'll find a small loop between the shoulders. That's a shirt loop and it's for hanging the shirt on a hook because that's way easier than using a wire hanger. This started out as a functional design for sailors who were changing clothes on a ship in the 1960s, but the design quickly made its way to land and never really left. Number 5. This is something you've probably never noticed if you don't spend time looking at car tires, but those tires have a way of telling you when they're starting to wear down and need to be replaced. When the tread on those tires start to run low, you'll start to see wear bars appear as horizontal lines running across the grooves in the tread. If you see more than a couple of these in your tires, it might be time to think about getting some new tires. Another side tip you can use is that when you put a penny into the groove of a tire, if the penny's head pops out more than it should and it doesn't actually dip right into the groove, then that means you probably need some new tires. Number 4. Maybe you've heard this one before. The lines on a solo cup correspond to different alcohol measurements. The top line is 12 ounces, the serving size for beer. The middle line is 5 ounces for wine, and the bottom line is 1 ounce for alcohol. Of course, while those may be accurate and helpful measurements, the Dart Container Corporation, the makers of the solo cup, says the lines are just there for performance and the measurements are coincidental. Which makes sense because who drinks just 1 ounce of anything out of a solo cup anyways? Number 3. If you've taken a look at your laptop's computer charging cable, or a monitor cable, or any number of similar cords, you've probably seen one of these. But like, what is this thing? Why is there a big lump at the end of your cord? Put simply, it's called a ferrite bead, and it's a small metallic cylinder that helps to reduce electromagnetic interference between devices. The interference, for the record, is the reason you have to turn your cell phone off on a plane, and the ferrite bead is the reason your screen doesn't flicker like crazy when your phone is nearby. Number 2. Around the outside of nearly every car windshield, there is a band of black dots in various sizes. Maybe at some point, you've wondered to yourself, what the hell that's there for? The black band surrounding a windshield is an enamel paint meant to protect the adhesive holding your windshield in place from UV deterioration. The dots surrounding it are there to hide the adhesive and give a pleasing transition from the black edge to the clear glass. They also provide some sun protection and help provide even heat distribution to the glass to keep it from distorting. Number 1. For whatever reason, one of the first things people did when the Nintendo Switch came out is start licking the cartridges. They were not terribly pleased with the results. Because Switch cartridges are so small, they represent a choking hazard for small children. Nintendo was concerned about this, and so have coated the cartridges with a non-toxic but foul-tasting substance to hopefully encourage kids to spit them out if they get that far. The same substance is used to discourage people from biting their fingernails. Wow, that's amazing because growing up, my parents did that to me to stop me from biting my fingernails. And why would you put a Nintendo Switch cartridge in your dang mouth? Come on, man. Let's start 2018 right. 
Please, let's not do this anymore. What? Don't you don't. Did you know that we have a countdown book featuring some of our best scripts on sale now? Links down below for the physical and ebook versions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, everybody. Peace.